Hello, my name is Brad Sanders. I'm with the Subside Electronics Product Support Group, and today I want to introduce you to the new TSR Mobile As Built Software Program. Now, TSR has actually been around for probably two and a half years when we released the TK Tracking System. Um, that's whenever TSR was first introduced. Now, this new mobile version has actually been out for a few weeks now, so some of you may have already had a chance to run it. But hopefully over the next uh, few minutes uh, in watching these tutorial videos I'm going to walk you through, you'll learn a lot about the software um, and how to, to use and navigate through it. Now there is kind of a, a new look and feel to TSR Mobile. You'll notice that when you first download it. Uh, all the functions are there that we had on the older version, but there's some new added features that I think everybody's really going to like. Um, and So that's what I'm really going to cover over the next few minutes in these videos. Um, some of the, the new things we're excited about is that you'll actually be able to Bluetooth directly to a tracker or a display, you know, via your mobile device, whether it's a tablet, a cell phone, uh, or still a PC or a laptop. Um, so you won't be really using the TK updater anymore. Um, we'll directly Bluetooth connect to pull those stored jobs off of the products. Um, we'll actually be able to um, update software now. We used to do that through the TK updater, but now T TK updater is kind of embedded in TSR mobile, so that's going to be a huge benefit as well, uh, being able to update software in the field. And then last but not least, whenever you uh, do pull a job off of a tracker or display, uh, after you've made any changes necessary to that board profile, you'll be able to immediately email this uh, to your client. So. Uh, again, like I said, there are going to be three different videos in this uh, series, so be sure you watch them all to uh, you know, get the full understanding of how to navigate through this new software. Well, let's start this, uh, this tutorial at subsite.com. So if you're on a mobile device or on a PC, just go to your web browser, uh, type in subsite.com. Uh, once you're there from the main page, if you'll click on support and then click on software updates, it'll take you directly to the page to start your downloads. So um, if you're wanting to download it on an Android device, whether it's Samsung phone uh, or some type of a Samsung tablet, um, you click on here, it'll take you to the Google Play Store. Look like that. Um, really nice little app there. Um, if you're going to go <clears throat> put it on a Windows PC, obviously click here, follow the prompts for the download. Same for a Mac computer. Um, now for iOS and uh, which is iPad, iPhone, uh, you click on the download tab to go to the App Store. This is what it looks like when you get there. Uh, what your app icon will look like. Uh, one thing that's important to remember. Now even though with these three systems here, whether it's an Android device, Windows device, or Mac, we have the ability inside of the TSR now to Bluetooth connect through this mobile program directly to the trackers or displays and retrieve or download those stored jobs. Now, we do not at this time have the ability to Bluetooth connect to an iPad or an iPhone. Uh, hopefully by the end of the year, first part of next year, uh, we will have that ability. It requires an Apple chip be installed on trackers and displays for us to Bluetooth connect to them. Uh, but it can still be used as a viewer, so it is still functional. Uh, if you email a job to a client, they can open it up on an iPad, an iPhone, they can make changes to that as built, uh, and then save it and then forward it on also. Uh, they just will not be able to Bluetooth connect currently, uh, you know, with the iPad or the iPhone to a TK or TD, so keep that in mind. These other three devices, uh, once you install them on your mobile platform or your PCs, you'll be ready to go. Okay, now for purposes of this training, I'm running the TSR Mobile on my PC. So once you have the program installed on whatever device you're going to be utilizing it on, if you simply click on the icon, open up the program, it'll come to a blank screen. Now before we move on any further, the first thing I want to mention is the Help tab. be found down here in the right-hand corner. If you click on that, it opens up the help manual for this software program. Now uh, it's 16 pages long but it will answer all of your questions that you have within the program. So 
Um, I'm probably not going to touch on every single thing in this short tutorial that you might find in this user's manual. So again, I encourage you to go through this completely, print it off if you need to separately so you can go through the program as you're reading through it. Okay, another tab I want to point out that's just below the help manual is the about tab. If you click on that, it shows you the current version uh, of TSR Mobile that you're running uh, and the build date. But obviously what I want to point out that's important is there's this email address right here, uh, help.tsr at subsite.com. You can actually send an email to that uh, if you have questions and we'll get back with you either via email to answer those questions or you can simply call us also uh, at the number provided here. This now concludes segment one of the TSR mobile tutorial. Be sure you look for the second segment in this series uh, to continue your training on this software.